Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about the ISTO. This is a tool we will be using in Kubernetes with the service mesh. Let's go and see the, what are the topics we will be covering in this video. So, what is ISTO and why we need? Features of ISTO, ISTO architecture. What is sidecar proxy and why we need sidecar proxy? And what is canary deployment and let's see sample example for scenario of the canary deployment and example of scenario in Istio. So popular service mesh tools. In this we have three types. One is Istio, Linkerd and Kanzil. Each of these tools are distinct focus. So the choice depends on specific project needs like complexity, performance or feature set isto known for a robust security observability and extensive traffic management capabilities isto is one of the most widely used service mesh it provides fine grain control and integrates well with the kubernetes linker a lighter simple alternative linker focuses on essay of use and quick setup it's highly performant and often choose for projects that prioritize simplicity over a full range of features. Console. Besides offering standard service mesh features, console includes additional functionalities like service discovery, health check and configuration storage. It's also known for integration with non-Kubernetes environment <laughs> make it versatile. So why is to not other two? Why a service mesh with popular with the is to? Istro is often chosen in service mesh implementation due to its comparison feature set, especially in larger, more complex deployment. Here, why Istro is commonly preferred over linker list and console? Because it has a advanced traffic management, and security features and observability and monitoring, because uh, and extensibility and integration. Not linker or console. Linker known for simplicity and lower resource usage. Linker is greater, smaller environment or those required only basic service mesh features. However, it does not offer the same depth in traffic management or a security assist. Console. While powerful in multi environment setups and providing additional tools like service discovery, console service mesh are often considered secondary to its core functionality. So in the summary, why service mesh tool popular for Istro? Istro is chosen for scenario required advanced security, traffic control, detailed observability for simple needs. Linker or console might be sufficient, but Istro robustness and flexibility make it ideal for complex large scale environment. Istro is used primarily to manage, secure, and monitor communication between microservices in distributed applications so what is isto isto is mainly a open source service mesh platform that simplifies and secure the management of microservices and distributed system and it is a, a service mesh layer of the top kubernetes to handle the network communication between your services it enhances security reliability and observability by managing how data flows between the microservices isto allow you to control traffic flow enforce security policies and gather insight metrics without changing application scope in complex microservices architecture where multiple services communicate with each other over a network managing and secure communication can be challenging. Istro helps address these challenges by providing a layer of infrastructure between the microservices and the network, which allow to centralize and management service to service communication. In short, Istro helps make microservices environments more manageable and it a secure one and observable without requiring a significant changes to the application code and itself. And Istro is one of the most widely adopted service mesh implementations specially designed to work with the Kubernetes. 
um, through it can be deployed on other environment also is to introduce a powerful control plane and organized data plane proxies deployed as a sidecar container alongside each services instance so why is to why is to is important so isto is primarily used to manage secure and monitor communication between microservices in distributed application so traffic control and reliability and security observability and monitoring policy enforcement service discovery and load balance this is why we need isto so let's go and check one by one what all the things are the first thing is traffic control and reliability in the complex applications controlling traffic between microservices is crucial part isto enable granular traffic control allow for features like load balancing resize timeouts and traffic splitting these ensure better reliability and fault tolerance in your application the next thing is enhanced security is provide security features like mutual tls to encrypt traffic between services helping to secure sensitive data in transit it also support authentication authorization and access control policies make it easier to manage next thing is observability and monitoring so automatically collects and provide metrics logs and distributed trace for each services which is invaluable for monitoring and debugging integration with tools like dampfa and jira enable you to visualize traffic flows and performance the next thing is policy enforcement is to lets you apply policy globally or a individual service enforcing loose rules for things like resource usage rate limitation and authorization these consistency simplifies compliance and governance across services last thing this service discovery and load balancing is to automatically discover services and managing load balancing even for service running across multiple cluster or a cloud so in full details it enhances is to help address challenges that arise in microservices architecture by providing a layer of infrastructure for better control security and observability without having to modify application code so the next thing is features of isto isto offers a wide array of features that helps manage secure and observe microservices in service mesh here um, we have uh, five features in five features we have uh, several types let's go in the depth and see what are those the first thing is traffic management isto traffic management capabilities are powerful allowing precious control over how requests move through your service environment the first one is load balancing isto provides built in load balancing strategies this distribute request across instances of a service to maximize performance and reliability the next traffic splitting for rolling out new version of services isto enable traffic splitting also called canary release these allow you to send a portion of traffic to a new version test in it real time and gradually increase the traffic and confidence scores retries and flyovers when a service instance fails or is unavailable isto automatically retries and request or routes it to a backup instance these improve resilience by ensuring a consistent user experience even when the certain service encounter issue traffic mirroring is to allow mirroring traffic to a new version in a parallel whether the live version this means you can see how the new version perform under real world condition without impacting the user so the next thing is security isto strengthens security across different services especially useful in complex systems where securing each service individually can be challenging chill tls with mutual tls both the client servers client and servers authenticate each other ensuring only verified service communicate this is the essential for sensitive application as it prevents man in the middle attacks 
Next is authentication and authorization. Histo supports various authentication mechanism to verify identity of clients. Authorization policy then enforce which service or user have access to specific resources, ensuring only permitted interaction occurs. End-to-end -end encryption. Histo encrypts all communication between services, securing data in transit. This is especially useful in public or hybrid cloud environment where data may occur cross insecure networks. The next thing is observability. Observability is critical in understanding how microservices behave and identifying issues. The first thing is metrics. Istro collects detailed metrics on requests, error rates and more providing insights into a service performance. These metrics can be visualized in tools like Grandpa and are essential for understanding trends and spotting bottlenecks. Distribute tracing. By capturing trays of requests as they pass through various services, Istro help pinpoint where issues may arise. Uh, Jira and Zipkin are commonly used with the Istro for this purpose, helping developers track the path and perform for each request. Logging. Istro provides detailed logs of service-to-service -service interaction making it easier to troubleshoot and identify root cause of error. Logs can also be aggregated and viewed in the centralized tool for easy monetization. So the next thing is policy enforcement. So Istro policy management capabilities allow centralized control over how services interact. The first thing is resource limits. Policies can set limits on resource such as CPU, memory and request rate, ensuring that services do not consume more than their fair share or cause disruptions. Access control. With Istro, you can set rules that define which services or user are authorized to access specific servers. These ensure only allowed interaction takes place. Rate limiting. Policies can limit the rate at which service can be accessed, which is especially useful for protecting backend resources or ensuring fair usage. These help prevent services from being overlimbed during traffic springs. Quota management. Istro supports quotas to limit the number of requests that user services can make in a quick period, given period, which is used for paid or trade services. The last thing is service discovery. In a dynamic containerization environment, service often starts, stop, or more across nodes. Automatic registry. Istro automatically detects services as they are created and registered them in the service mesh. This removes the need for the developer to manually update configuration when service changes. Dynamic routing. Istro dynamically routes requests based on the real-time service availability. Ensure that the requests reach the right instance even if they are moved or scaled up down. Naming. By managing service with a consistent names, naming schema, Isto simplifies inter-service communication and helps microservices found each other easily regardless of where they are hosted. Together, these features help make Istro an invaluable tool for managing, securing, and scaling microservices architecture, streamline processing that would otherwise the complex and time-consuming will help. So the next thing is Istro architecture. So this diagram represents the architecture of Istro an open source service mesh for managing microservices. It's divided into two main components. The one is a data plane and another one is a control plane. Data plane. The data plane is responsible for handling all traffic between microservices in the service mesh. It includes the following elements. The first one is services. Example, in the diagram, we have service A and a service B. They are actually microservices that run in your application. Each service is accomplished by a proxy. That means it's a sidecar proxy which helps managing its network traffic. Next is sidecar proxy envoy. Each service has a sidecar proxy, typically envoy, which 
intercepts all inbound and outbound traffic for that services. The sidecar proxy performs a variety of functions. The first thing is traffic control. Manage and route traffic between services, for example, services A and services B. The next thing is load balancing. Balances incoming requests across instance of the servers. Security applies mutual TLS to secure communication between the services. Telemetry collection gathers data on traffic metrics, loss and trace. These proxy operates independently but rely on the control plane for configuration, security policies and routing. In this diagram, we have ingress and egress traffic. Ingress traffic means this is a traffic entering the mesh from outside resources such as external client. The proxy at the edge of the mesh can be managed these ingress traffic and apply router rules. Egress traffic, this is the traffic leaving the mesh to reach external services. Histo can also manage and secure ingress traffic through rules defined in the control panel. Data plane is where the actual service to service communication happens, which each proxy in the data plane apply the rule and policies defined in the control plane. The next thing is control plane is responsible for managing and configuring the proxies in a data plane. It provides centralized control over the traffic policies, security and observability feature. In this store, the control plane includes several key components. The first thing in is Troy. This is the main component in the control plane that manage all the ISTO control plane. Previously separate components like Piloid, Clustral and Galley. We were used this task but they have been unfined under ISTO is never version 2, newer version 2 ISTO. ISTO provides the following features that one Polite. Now integrated into ISTO, manage traffic configuration and rules. It translates high level routing rules defined by the user into configuration understand by MNOI proxy in the data plane. Polite also handles service discovery by helping proxies find other services within the mesh. Satellite integrated into the ISTO, handles security by ensuring issuing and managing certificates for mutual TLS authentication. Citadel generates and distributes certificates to the proxies, enabling secure encrypted communication between the services. Next, the next thing is GAL. Manage the configuration and validate that it conforms to a store requirement before applying it to a proxies GAL. GALI. Validate and process configuration, ensuring they are correctly formatted and stored standards. The Control plane also includes the following capabilities that is discovery, configuration management and a security policies. Discovery means discover services within the mesh so they each proxy know how to route traffic to other services. Configuration management. The control plane centralized configuration for traffic routing resides drive over security policies and across control these configuration in this distributed to each side proxy in the data plane certificate and security policy is to handle certificate management for mutual tls ensuring that each service to self instruction is secure so the difference of data plane and a control plane Data plane consisting of proxies that intercept and manage all network traffic for the service in the mesh. It applies traffic control, security, observability based on the instruction from the control plane. Control plane manages the configuration, discovery and security for the proxies in the data plane. It centralized policy and configuration and distribute them to the proxies to control the traffic flow and security across the services. Overall, these architecture allow ISTO to enforce policy, consistently secure communication and provide visibility across a complex microservices environment. This is all about the ISTO architecture.
So the next thing is sidecar proxy. What is sidecar proxy? A sidecar proxy is a key component in a service mesh architecture like Visto. It's a small helper process that's run alongside each microservices, intercepting and managing its network traffic. In Istro, the sidecar proxy is typically an instance of Envoy, which is responsible for controlling and securing the communication between the service to service communication. Why sidecar? The term sidecar comes from the proxy being deployed alongside the main services in the same pod or a container. Uh, this means, wait, I'll show. These two, uh, service A and service B are the um services this is the site proxy this is a pod and a container both the service and its sidecar proxy share resources but the proxy is responsible for managing network related concern while the service focuses purely on its business logic so the next thing is what is canary deployment Canary deployment is a technique used in DevOps to release new software versions incrementally. The goal is to ensure a smooth deployment by first release the new version to a small subnet of user. If no issues are encountered, the deployment is expanded to more users. Unit it reaches the 100% traffic. So let's see a simple example scenario for the canary deployment so a company has released a new features in their e-company app instead of deploying it all users at once they are they use this canary deployment to release it to five percent of users they monitor performance and user feedback before rolling it out to a rest of the user so at the last uh um i'm giving example for the isto so you have a catalog services in your e-commerce platform which communicates with other services like order and a payment envoy is deployed as a site card proxy for the catalog services when the catalog service make request to the order service the request first go through the envoy sidecar envoy ensure traffic rules such as retrieve policies and the circuit breaking are applied the traffic between services is also encrypted using a mutual tlis providing security without needing to change the application code so this is the scenario example scenario for the isto so that's all about the isto thank you